everyone. I am so sorry for not making a video in a long time. I've been working on Vlogmas, which is on my vlog channel, but today I am back with a new tutorial, and this is a celebrity lookalike video, and a lot of people have been telling me lately that I've been looking like Anna Kendrick, and I didn't even know who Anna Kendrick was, and I was just on like this Omegle site, which is really bad, I know, sh with my friends, and they're like, you look like Anna Kendrick. I'm just like, who's that? And that's when I first got into Pitch Perfect. Obviously, if you guys don't know, she is from Pitch Perfect, and I love her. So I'm just going to show you hair, makeup, and outfit. So let's get right on into the video. Okay, so first I am going to be concealing my under eyes and um, any blemishes with my concealer, which you guys all know, so I'm not going to say it again next I'm going to be using my NYX eyeshadow primer and prime my eyelids Now, Anna Kendrick has a nice smoky eye look going, so we're going to be using a lot of different grays to create this look. But for a nice highlight color, I am taking from my Naked 2 palette, Foxy, and I'm going to be taking Booty Call and blending those together on my eyes to make them look a little bit brighter and awake. Now I'm going to take Booty Call, I mean Foxy, and apply this under my eyebrows and give it a nice highlight. Now like I said before, Adam Kendrick has a nice smoky eye look going, but with a lot of grays. So we're going to be taking Verve from the Naked 2 palette, and it's this nice light shimmery gray, and applying that on the lid as a base look up. And you want this look to be messy. Now with a little bit of a tinier brush, I am going to go in through this inner side and I'm going to be using Pistol from the Nika 2 palette and it has a little bit of shimmer and it's a little bit of a darker color. I'm bringing it into my crease. And we will blend this out a little bit after, but not too much. Because it's supposed to be messy. Now from the 88 Coastal Suns palette, the original shimmery one, we are going to be taking a very like a pigmented gray color. So we're going to be using this color here that I'm almost out of. And with a little tiny brush, we're going to use this in the outer corner and make a V-shaped. Now we are going to take a little bit of the black color and place that over, knee, over the um, knee as well with a tiny brush. And I'm going to be using my MAC 275 SE brush. It's a little angle. Just like dotting that in there.
Now with my new brush set that I got, I'm going to be taking the blending brush, which, which works really well in blending this all together to make it a little bit not messy, but kind of messy. That makes sense. So this is it for the eyeshadow. As you can see, it's very Now her eyebrows are perfectly shaped. So what we're gonna be using is the Maybelline uh, one in light brown, and you want one that will match your skin tone perfectly. And I am using this brush from my new brush palette as well. And it's just a little bit of it angled, so it'll give me a nice flattering shape. This is called the eye, um, it's from Real Techniques and it's the eyebrow one. And her eyebrows are very dramatic, so that's why we're putting a lot of the color on. So that is it for the eyebrows. You could tell it is very bold and very filled in. Now for the eyeliner, she does not wear liquid eyeliner, at least I don't think. So we are going to be applying just a lot of the um, just regular eyeliner. And now I'm just going to smudge it out a little bit with a Q-tip. So it still gives a little messy look. And now we're going to do our lashes. We start off by curling our lashes with any curler. And now I'm applying my new mascara, the Great Lash. Lots of love, lots of lashes, mascara. I'm gonna do a couple coats. And we're also going to do her bottom lashes as well. So that's it for the mascara. As you can tell, it's very bold and dramatic. And now we are going to begin with the face. So she is very tan, and I'm going to be using the Sephora Bora Bora bronzer and apply that to my T-zone with a little uh, bronzing brush.
Okay, and now I am going to be using as a contouring this bronzer and it's from London in Sunlight. And now with the blush, she doesn't have a bright blush on. She has a more of a tan colored blush. And we are going to be using the Max Warm Soul Blush. And this does very tan with a little bit of shimmer. And I will be using my Avon blush brush. And this is the complete and makeup look. I almost forgot we are going to be setting our makeup with the Makeup Forever set, uh, setting. And it's very powdery, so be careful. Just set that. And now for the hair. So I'm just going to part it back. Like I said, she does have very messy flaked hair. So we're going to bring it back into a bun. Like so. And leave some pieces down. So that's what the comb is for. She always has pieces in the front. And just get a little bit of the bumps out. Now take your elastic. And tie it into a ponytail first and now we're gonna take the other rubber band that I had here and put it into a bun this is always how I wear my buns with a little bit of the hair falling down so that is the completed hair style it's like a little half bun half um, ponytail so now we're gonna move into now for the outfit, I just paired this uh, gray sweat sweater-like because she's into a lot of the grays. And I paired it with my jeans and since it's nighttime and I'm not going out in no boots, but she would have combat boots on. So this is the finished look, you guys. Now I'll show you my makeup one more time. And then the hair. And I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little tutorial. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below who you look alike. And also comment down below and request some fun videos. Love you guys. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Love you.